Hey there, it's me Obed and today I will show you how you can build a voice bot which will sense your voice, convert it into text, then send it to an AI model, gets the response back and say the whatever the response is. It will speak to you. Okay, so you can talk to your AI model. And this can be any model. This can be open source, this can be uh, GPT from OpenAI or any other you want to use like Mistral or whatever okay and if you are working on any custom project you can uh, feel free to reach out on the whatsapp or the email and we can discuss about the details okay and yeah feel free to subscribe uh, on the youtube channel uh, yeah let's see what we have running on our system so first thing I have this TTS service which means text to speech it is running as a server and one more server which is hosting my application is the flask application is the uh, flask server so uh, let's see how we can access the application and i will show you a demo before showing you uh, showing you the demo i want to tell you like uh the because of this recording setup there there might be some problems and let me tell you why so my two microphones are attached right now one is the which is which is closer to the uh speaker and when ai will speak it might sense some of that response from ai and then uh like uh, you know uh hit it as my voice or my response i will tell you uh, when, when it will happen okay let's remove the timer uh but sure i will just hit a start it is on 8080 the port hello there i'm here to help can you please provide more context or clarify your question? Can you please introduce yourself? Sure, I am a support assistant here to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Feel free to ask me anything you need assistance with. okay i have to close it down because otherwise it will sense me again and uh, send it to ai right but what was happening uh, uh first when i said hello there because it is too far away the microphone uh, i don't know why it was not connecting to this one because i am already using it to record video maybe that's why but yeah something uh, related to this uh, connection issues but yeah you can you can you know use your default microphone and it super uh, accurately recognize your voice and the technology behind that let me again uh, swiftly run this so technology is for the tts the deep term that means text to speech and the speech to text uh, and the ai you can use any other can model. you please provide oh, more context or clarify uh, for now, I am using OpenAI, like their model, right? And let's see how we can build this now. Okay, so this is the code, uh, source code, and you can always refer to the description for the source codes. But yeah, and there are two things, as I said. One is the STT, that means speech to text. One is the TTS, that means text to speech. Now, STT is for my sound or speech, which will be converted into text, like what was uh, happening when I was speaking, right? And that is in the uh, interface, which is using DeepGram as the WebSocket. So that means my real-time voice is being uh, uh, evaluated to text, Convert it into text and then send to AI. So it will not be like I am recording sound and then I will be creating uh, or like sending the voice or the sound to some server and then get the uh, uh, the uh, response back in the text. 
but what it will be it will automatically uh, like chunk my uh, voice and send to uh, deep drum server gets the response back add it up in to the chatbot container and you know uh, have it have it in uh, like a complete video call scenario right it it will give you a feeling like that uh, obviously there is there is latency issue like ai has to think there is thinking time for ai and then yeah uh, but uh, we can definitely reduce it if the model is running you know, maybe on your local system with high gpus or or it can be real time tts also right so there can be many uh, things for that but so uh, let's see how it is actually happening yeah so yes here it is we are saying like uh, media recorder will be on if the mime type will be from this one right whatever i am speaking if it is uh, sporting through this format then media recorder will be active and then this is my uh, basically api key for the deep gram i will just uh, you know uh, disclose or dispose it off after i record the video but yeah uh, the end point you want to hit is this one wss that means web socket for speech i guess or or i don't know but this is the endpoint api deep gram v1 and slash listen that means it will listen to you whatever you are speaking and it will automatically recognize that you are done speaking and you now want maybe want to listen the answer so yeah that will happen through this uh where it is yes it's received is final so that will tell you uh, is final is true or false if it's true and we have some transcript that means my voice is converted into the text then transcript or the whatever the element i have over uh, in my chat uh, interface chatbot interface it will add up the value of the previous transcript right so that's how it will be in real time and then i am just calling get ai response what it is doing basically so this is a function right here it is just grabbing the user query from my form which i have in the interface uh, the first value of the form and then it is tending towards ai user query sent to ai and we have a fetch uh, request for get ai response we are sending the uh, user query and getting back the llm answer then i am just playing that uh, llm answer so play audio from api as llm answer now let's see how this thing is uh being happening right so uh, i will just go to app and yeah so here we get the user query we have this prompt pretty little simple uh, prompt please act at a support assistant and answer to this query that's why it answered as i am a support assistant and you can ask me any question otherwise it will be like i am a uh, open ai model or something like that because i have tell it act as a support assistant so it is doing so right and then we have a system prompt like i tried to make it answer short so that we don't see uh, much latency right then we are getting the llm response llm answer and we are sending it back to our interface here right for the tts what it is happening uh deep drum and you can even uh like have it send as a file right the whatever the file there will be like uh if, if the data is hello uh how can i help you today it will be sent as a file also it can do that right 
but you don't have to other uh, like if you are using real time uh the service right and we are simply you know uh playing the uh text from the api right so if we see that where it is happening uh we have a async uh asynchronous function play audio from api and that is a text receiving a text which is the llm answer what it is doing it is calling an endpoint which is this generate audio it is present in the tts generate audio and it will uh be a json i'm just sending it as json tts request sent and then we are getting the audio back and we are saving it as a blob right so audio uh, url will be here if we create a url from that blob and then we are uh, just you know uh, using get audio to play so that will play whatever the response is coming back from the ai right and the text is that right it will get text otherwise it will just say hello uh, i can help you today so it will be acting as the default value otherwise the text will be uh, whatever the text will be there it will come right here right now there are many models which you can use or the encoding or the you know formats so aura is one of their model and how you can see that it is quite simple you can just go to deep gram uh, tts and you will have many voices there which you can use the same thing can be uh, done with google services on google cloud they have many services but i personally like their interface for the deep gram and it's quite easy to integrate in your applications and it is i don't know if it's uh, like uh, actually uh, better in recognizing but i think so it is better i don't know what the stats say about that but yeah i like this service so yeah you can just uh, use that so you can see there is many voices and for the text to speech speech to text and there are other things also you can do okay uh, i think uh, that is all for this video you can uh, reach out uh, through the whatsapp or the mail if you are working on any custom project i'm always ready to you know help in or the contribute in the revolutionary ideas or whatever the exciting things you guys are doing okay and uh, I will meet you in the next video. Thanks for watching.